alankaras are the beautiful swara exercises arranged in seven different patterns illustrating the seven principal talas sapta talas they are durva matya rupaka jampa triputa atta and eka these sapta tala alankaras help the students to get good control and gain more confidence over the tala when they practice them in all the three speeds hence it is considered as one of the most important lessons in our carnatic music alankara means ornamentation or embellishment in abhyasa gana there are seven alankaras which are known as the sapta tala alankaras this is a very important lesson in abhyasa gana or practical exercises these are swara group patterns which conform to the different talas these simple but interesting swara group patterns are composed by shri purandra dasa to enhance the tala understanding of the music students alankara should conform to the following lakshanas one the composition of alankaras should be within the range of an octave two janta swaras should not be used three alankara should consist of two halves the arohana part and the avarohana part each consisting of equal number of avartanas four the symmetrical structure of the entire alankaras should be such that when one line or one avardhana is given it should be possible to complete the entire alankara five alankaras conforming to the above patterns must be composed in sampurna sampurna or shadava shadava or audava audava ragas only namaskar i'm samukta now i'm going to sing sapta tala alankaras first one chatushya jati durvata chatushya jati has four aksharas durvata alam has four angas lagu dritam lagu lagu chatushya jati lagu has four aksharas so 4 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4 is equals to 14 aksharas 